Senate Committee uh, of a local government of Senator Gopo and actually he endorsed it already. Uh, the committee, the committee of uh, local government in the Senate endorsed the committee report for second reading in the plenary. So as far as the senator is concerned, he has done his job to uh, schedule it in the plenary. And uh, but unfortunately, all of us know what happened in the plenary when uh, Senator Sergio Spena uh, well questioned uh, the committee report. So right now we're back to zero. Uh, we're back to zero uh, in the House. Let's pass again the House. Uh, Congressman Ted Nareso has already uh, filed this in the House. The practice in the House is to reach already any bill reaching the second reading in the Senate. And uh, it is very close to our hearts. That's why uh, our mayor from Rwanda asked this question. And maybe you can give us uh, also your response to uh, the House. The island we speak in is concerned with the congressional districts. So, dapat ang mga congressman, lalo na yung galing sa kung saan yung magagawin yung redistricting, kailangan silang magkusunta. Kung mag-agree na mga congressman, those the districts that will be affected uh, in the House, di ipapasan na sa amin, wala nang magagawin. Unless meron na, kaya nang nangyari, uh, may objection for whatever reason uh, dun sa redistricting. Para sa amin, wala nang magagawin. Para sa qualified, qualified sa population, population na naman ang dinitignan, qualified sa population, then it is already, it is already allowed. Uh, kailangan siguro ipaspas natin because if you look in the Constitution, there is a limit of 150, but there is also, as provided by law, uh, but we are already approaching the 150. So we will have to, the, we, uh, by the time pag dumating, pag umabot na tayo sa 150, ay palagay ko kailangan magpapag-aaralan ulit kung papangkal po yung mga redistricting. So I guess ang masasak, ang ipapayo ko na sa inyo, what I will advise you, is ipadali na nito, whatever you need to do. Uh, siguro, the congressman ko, kung let me push it very quickly in, uh, in, the, in the house, para maunod na sa amin, para hindi naman maipit kung sa pagkakot na sa wakit. Pero pagdating sa Senado, we already decided this uh, in the last Congress. We just have to try again to do it again and see. And try to be better at anticipating any infections that we do not have. We did not realize that there was a vehement objection from the uh, Senate. Sir. So, we pass pass the land in the pass pass the land in the house. On the next time, we give it. Uh, we give it um, the governor will attend, the congressman will attend, and after the hearing, I can report it out again, like we did the last time. So, that's the next time. You have to guys, uh, nandito pa naman si Senator, uh, take the time, the opportunity, and nandito siya uh, sa utap niya para sa uh, Uh, 
uh, I have, uh, I have, I was say governor for nine years. So I have uh, some understanding, I have a good understanding of uh, the situation at the local government level. And that's what uh, I continue to, I continue to pursue. At ang aking naging, ang bagong naging tumitig ngayon ay public works. So pati yung dalong na nakaraan yung Yolanda, marami kami kailangan ng magpatrabaho na kaya inahanap ko kung ano yung mga pangailangan sa iba't ibang lugar and to try to find a way to help with the rehabilitation of the infrastructure. Because as you know, we were very heavily affected in Dayton, especially in Adopa. And because of that, I got very involved in the rehabilitation work. So, we were always very busy. We were always very busy in the Senate. And I was telling the mayors earlier that I anticipate that with the Pangsamor, that they will finish that in May, we will have a lot of money, and that comes to my committee also in the local government. So, yun, yun na pagkaya pala nakikisun na hinaharap namin ngayon. We have just finished the SK, dahil pinago natin yung sistema ng SK. Those are the things that we have been working on in the past.